Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is your snack for the journey. And this week we are walking through the book of Genesis. So many things, so many verses, so many informations for each one of us about the, the, the plan of God, the, the grace of God, the kindness and mercy. And today we're going to see one verse that is a, it's, it's a very interesting story. Abraham could not, uh, Sarah, the, the, the wife of Abraham, could not have a baby, and they decided to have, go to the plan B. The plan B is to offer Hagar to Abraham. Sarah said, I cannot have a baby. You have a baby with her. And then and God promised Abraham to, that he would have a baby. But uh, the thing that human beings said, well, let's come up with a plan B. Maybe God forgot uh, that we're supposed to have a baby and we're not having, let's... D- Let's go with the plan B. Plan B didn't work well. Sarah get mad with uh, with uh, Hagar and uh, sent Hagar and, uh, and Hagar f- fled from Sarah. And uh, and he w- she was in the desert, about to die. And an angel of the Lord. And it's interesting because this term angel of the Lord is a term when uh, it's a theophany it's a term for Jesus himself in the Old Testament is the same word for uh, the one that uh, appears to Moses in the in the burning bush the angel of the Lord came and talked to her and said what are you doing here I said I'm 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 getting out I had it and he said no go back go back and this is the verse because God was watching her. God was watching her. She thought that she was by herself in the middle of the desert. Nobody's going to take care of me. I'm dying here. I'm going to die. My son's going to die. I don't want to even see him die. And, and, and it's a mess. She was in the middle of a terrible mess. And God was watching. So see, this is what, what she said. She gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. Chapter 16, verse 13. The Lord who sees me. Sometimes we find ourselves in a situation so bad, so bad like Hagar. We're in the middle of the desert. Nobody's there. Things are getting uh, from bad to worse, and death is getting close, and destruction, and, and mess all over the place, and we think that God doesn't care, that God is not seeing what is going on with us, and and Agar is is in the same situation that we found, we find ourselves sometimes that uh, she thought that uh, this is it. This is it. Life is going to end right here in the middle of the desert. Me and my son, we're going to die. And, and, and God, the angel of the Lord said, no, no, no. You go back. It's not your time yet. And I'm going to bless this boy. I'm going to bless him. So go back. And it's, it's a... It's a wonderful promise from God. But it's a wonderful message because he, she, she says, I know now that God is the one who sees me. God, my friend, sees you. He knows what is going on in your life. He knows how bad it is, how hard it is. And it's very important for you to understand that. That He is a wonderful, powerful, gracious and merciful God. And you need to believe, you need to accept, and you need to come to this conclusion that Hagar came. Now I know. I have now seen the one who sees me. God sees you. He's watching. He's watching.
And this is great news because he's a powerful God and a gracious God. And this is your snack for the journey. God bless you.